All right, guys. Welcome back to the Diamond Social Podcast. Today, we're going to get into some shit. Okay, as you can see, it's me and two other... And two other people here right now. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy holidays to everybody. But I really want to get into this topic ASAP, okay? Because they've been trying me before we even started. But first, we have our first guest, Larry is Legend, one of the funniest motherfuckers I know. And then we have Terry, pure a troller, okay? So I want both of them to do um, more of an introduction for themselves. Larry? I'm just Larry, Larry Legend. Uh, I do Smoked Out Saturdays, host of Smoked Out Saturdays. Um, and we doing skits and, you know, I write and do all this other shit. I'm here. I'm Thank Terry you. Roseland, um, FC Network, uh, Podcast Network, Storytime with Terry Podcast. Uh, I got, we got five shows on the network right now. We do DTG printing and stuff now, so if you, you know, need some clothes made. That type of thing. Mm-hmm. All right, gentlemen. I don't do no trolling, though. You definitely troll. Both of them. First of all, Larry. Yeah, I'm a Gemini, so I'll probably be serious. <laughs> Whatever y'all think I say that's crazy, it might be for real. Yeah, I, be, I mean. You be like I dead serious, I feel like. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Most times. I mean, yeah, you be yeah, like, yeah. you standing on what you say. I respect that. And Terry, you a troll. I be dead ass all the time. Terry, you be posting ass cheeks. To get my fucking stuff. See, right. <laughs> see your story. That's, 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 that's smart. That is. That's and she, it's really that's smart though, but it it's real stank. Like, yeah, I mean, it works. It works. You can tell us what you're doing. They still gonna click that ass picture. Mm-hmm. Like it don't matter. But, Niggas, well, I do yeah. be clicking them ass pictures too. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Long day at work. You gonna click that ass? <laughs> <laughs> see it. But as y'all can tell, this is a holiday episode, so we are gonna have a little fun today. And like this episode, obviously, will be. A little much for me because we have two men on the stage and it's one woman that's going to hold it down. But that's okay because I do this. Okay? You can take it. I do. I can take this. Uh-huh. First of all, I don't like how that sounded. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like some gang, gang bang shit. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to get into it. Okay? The naughty versus nice. If I usually do like this or that, but today we're going to do naughty versus nice. Okay. So the first one is. Proposing to your girlfriend while she's sleeping. Is that naughty or nice? While she's mm. sleep? Like you wake her up after sleep? No, like she's sleep. You just put a ring on her finger and she wakes up and now yeah, she's a, a fiance. I ain't yeah, that. I think you don't give her a chance to tell you yes. <laughs> or no, right? Yeah, I don't right. Give but her I, I, I just don't. I be feeling like when niggas do stuff like that, they don't know their girl. Mm-hmm. If you do it, if you do it, then you you gotta know who she is. Mm-hmm. You gotta know what she like. Cause if you do some shit like that, you only get one chance to really propose to me. I don't feel like cause if a girl tell you no, you gonna a, stay right, with her. The relationship right, like, right, right, over. Bro. She the relationship I always over. thought about that. Like, what happens if the person says no? The relationship over. How how much do they love you? Cause that also determines a lot. If a nigga love you a lot, I don't know that many niggas like this. But if they love you that much, where they're going to be like, all right, she said no, but I'm going to still work it out and see when she going to say yeah. No. Nah, G. Nah, it's not way. happening. Yeah, because that's all women want is to get married. So it's like... First, she... all, that, first of all, let's contradict... <laughs> Hold on, I thought you did not just want. say that on my podcast. All y'all want is a ring, so it's just like, if you say no, it's a wrap. Cody, I mean, you not really Cody. Terry, like that, like is that. Not that is not true. That is not true at all. What's true then? Women don't aspire to be married anymore. It's 2020. Okay. Like, come on. What do you want to do then? It's a new woman. Though. It's a new, different type of woman. What y'all trying to do? But don't propose to me in my sleep. That's all you I got to say. Trying to do. <laughs> what uh, trying uh, to do? Man, like, I don't mean to do this. And go this ahead. Too, but they trying to have traditional relationships as modern women. Facts. And that's where everything Facts. is fucked up at. Because niggas be trying to be traditional, but they still want their woman to have too much too. That's like, you can't... It's so, it's so many lines that's blurred because it's mm-hmm. a new time now. So it's like... It's a lot, nigga. That's all I can tell you. Can't now you can't say women. Even though we know that we remember when little girls when we was when we was kids, little girls used to write they la- they yeah. boyfriend last name and it's, they book a hundred times. It's still and, that they just giving yeah, up hope it's a because new, niggas ain't shit. So yeah, it's they giving up hope, but they still. I'm glad down, we they still all know as a threesome that niggas not shit. Don't say oh, that. I mean it like <laughs> this though. <laughs> niggas oh. ain't shit. I don't really mean it like you know. I mean yeah. niggas ain't shit, but they I mean. Not. Like, but I mean, the, this is my thing. Every time I have a conversation with a man, and they be like, why you always saying niggas not shit? Niggas not this, niggas not that. I be like, you're a man. And you haven't met men? Do you know men? You know yeah. what I mean? Y'all know yeah, niggas. Yeah, niggas. Yeah, but I know bitches too. And they ain't shit either. The facts. Like, okay, next question. Nah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you see? Right. So are we classifying that as naughty or nice? That's 
Don't naughty. propose to me while I'm sleeping. That's naughty. That's naughty. naughty. Yeah. I don't even. I never. I can't remember the last time I dated a chick that wanted to be woke up out of sleep. Like exactly. bitches hate that shit. Yeah, and they don't like that. It was just like something that. I had saw on like uh, I forgot what it was, but she was like laying in the bed. He took a picture of this bitch. She got her scarf on, the ring on her finger. I don't, don't disrespect me like that. Don't disrespect yeah, me like that. Ugly. Period. Yeah, I, I just like I say, man. If you know your girl, you know how to propose to your exactly. girl. Exactly. So. Let her get a chance to say yes or no. Maybe she told him that yeah. I want to be sleep and wake up with the ring. That's like, oh, goofy. Okay. Next one, naughty or nice? Yeah. It's pussy. A gift. <clears throat> <laughs> is that what you about to say? It's is pussy it? Oh, we need God. to know. It's no, a holiday episode. No, you could gift no. me. You could gift me with some new pussy. Hold hmm. on, they don't want to. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready. You're for not that. gonna give me the same pussy I've been fucking this whole time. What you gonna rewrap it? So can I give you the with? same pair of shoes every year? Same shoe though, the exact same. That's pair of not shoes. the question. The I question wear it out, don't is, I? Is you wear shoes. First of all, the question is: Is pussy a gift? No. no. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it it's is. Only it's gift. only a gift the first I'm time. A, you give the it first time you give it to me. It's a gift the first time. Yeah, that's it. It might be. I'm a, glad I know. Let me write you can't that recycle. down. I mean, yeah. yeah it's a, and that's and that's depending on who else had it before me. It might not be. Yeah, because if, if I, I find something you know, that that's devalues think, the pussy, that's yeah. how y'all think. Yeah, like, if, I found, if somebody if I else hit it that y'all niggas, know, yeah. so somebody it, else hit it that y'all know is over with. It, it depends yeah. on the way we like if because it's like I might know them if I don't know nothing about I don't care, but if it's this lame ass nigga, like come <laughs> on, you let this lame ass nigga hit. <laughs> I don't have it's if we was doing five days, I only got to do two now because you let him hit. You let that you let that nigga Terry bone, didn't you? Ah! You remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 she did. I hate, I hate the fact. He said, that she, he said she did. She did. She I, I really hate y'all mass at when it comes to that. Like, I mean, we when it comes to like niggas fucking y'all, y'all bitch before y'all. Like, I no, really I don't care about that. Why? I hate y'all mass at when it comes Why? to that. Do you want to fuck a nigga who your homie fuck? That's yeah, the, if it's your up. man's, that's a totally different thing. Like if it's yeah. your homie, if I don't know the nigga. If it's cool. somebody that I'm cordial with and see in the streets, I don't. It's nothing. Yeah. If it's my homie. I can't wife you. Or if you he dirty. If, it, if I never, I could if hit I don't know though. Nigga, don't get kind it of twisted. Dirty nigga, it's kind of like we could know. both. Me and my me and my homie could have both hit, but I can't wife you though. Yeah, that shit. Ain't no falling in love with this. I can't have. I just can't. Okay, y'all need to really deal with y'all ego. No, and you just, we gonna get back to pussy being a gift because pussy is a gift, pussy is and we all know that pussy. It is might not, not be a, a gift. tangible gift that you can like literally give somebody, but if a woman is letting you fuck her. So when you said gift, I thought you meant like wait, Merry me, Christmas, wait, take wait, up some pussy. Letting, like, wait, I mean, hold on, yeah. Hold on, time out. So Both. wait. If she, <laughs> get, if she get pregnant, right? If she right. get pregnant and have a baby and want to keep the baby, it took two to tango, right? Right, right, right. But you're letting him fuck. I thought y'all both fucked. Y'all yeah. both, he, you get him what you wanted to. But let's talk about this. Let's, no, let's really have this conversation because yeah. we all know as a, as a unit right. that pussy is more expensive than dick. We yeah. know that. We all know that. It depends on the girl. It depends on the girl. No, we know that as a unit. I think it, it depends on a lot of things, it but I guess you could say, yeah. Okay, Thank fine. You. That's fine. What does that mean, though? I it just, means that pussy is held to a higher regard than, than dick is. It's our fault, but yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It's, it's okay, men's so fault. Pussy it can be a, a case gift. Case we will, basis, it's not a gift, though, because It's a it lot costs. of bitches chasing niggas around for dick. That's a fact. It is. It's a lot of chicks chasing niggas, chasing niggas around. Oh, a, a whole so I, lot. I don't know what's value higher. It, it depends on the people. I really pray no, for I those think, women. I, think, I, I really do pray for those though, type of women, for real. Because niggas is so... Niggas well, only chase pussy until they niggas, get it one men time. Men in general are so thirsty, period. Like, but It look, wouldn't be an OnlyFans if men wasn't so thirsty. Facts. It wouldn't. That's it's a lot saying. of shit. But, but check it out. No niggas offense to the women that have OnlyFans. I just can't believe people pay for that. I mean, but they pay for... You pay people pay for porn. Some it's people who pay for porn somewhere. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't know where. I don't know why. But but look though, niggas be thirsty till they get the pussy. Chicks be thirsty after they get the dick. If they like it, like yes, they, they chase do. niggas for dick that's they already true. had. Yeah. You're not that's chasing true. a chick for pussy you already had. Like yeah, but, that but that's don't because I feel like women like we're gonna we're gonna just say this and we're gonna move on. But I feel like women when we have sex with somebody like the connection is definitely stronger. I don't yeah. know yeah, why. We do that, yeah. But I don't even give a fuck about a nigga. But when I fuck him, it's like, hold on, God, bitch. So what you times. doing? Where you at? What's yeah, going on? I don't understand it. Why he ain't I don't understand it, but that's what it is. For you to ignore him. Yeah, yes. It, it's like y'all are crazy, <laughs> man. I just be like, what? Yeah, the fuck? women are like, twisted <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. So is that naughty or nice? Is pussy a gift? That's not. Uh, I don't fuck. know if 
what word is which? It's naughty. Naughty the, mean like no. It's oh, nice. it's naughty. No, pussy is no. not a gift. That's like cold in a sock. It's okay, sure. pussy is gift. It's nice. Big okay, next down. one. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> next one is buying your girlfriend friends drinks when y'all all out together. What's up with men? Sharing the wealth. Share the wealth. If you got it, you could buy that's your girls' nice. drinks. Yeah. That's nice. yeah that's, that's, nice. Nice. that's cool. Yeah. Drinks is cool. But okay. if, if we at yeah. STK and I didn't invite y'all <laughs> and y'all came and ate and drunk and was expecting me to pay, looking at your nails when it was time for the bill, hold oh, on. God. You're going to watch dishes tonight because I got her. I got her. I Wait, might even get her Larry. best friend. Hold on, Larry. Right. I'm saying, I seen it. You say they look at their nails. I seen it. Girl, when the bill come out, they be like, hmm. That shit was good. <laughs> they, they in a group did chat texting see, about you. Did you see Potomac last night? All oh, that bullshit. <laughs> they don't. Nah, they not looking at the bill. They in a group chat texting about you. Like, that nigga ain't even picked that bitch Watch, up yet. Let's he see if he going to do it. Let's see if he going to do it. Exactly. But I feel like um, as a woman, yeah. if my friend, man, and we all out, we having a good time. Like, we know this nigga got bread. We know this nigga got money. Buy, buy the drinks. Like, it's, it's, you know, buy the drinks. Can I throw a scenario out there? Go ahead. I don't know how much time you got. But check, check we got time. I'm with the, I know this chick, right? She, it's a nigga on her line, right? She, the nigga blowing her line down. She ignoring the nigga. One day, she at a bar with her friends. It's three of them. They mm-hmm. at the bar. They drinking already. The nigga hit her up while she at the bar like, what's up? I'm trying to link with you. She say, all right, I'm at the bar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, she say, meet me at this bar. So this nigga is under the impression that he's meeting her by at himself. a bar. Mm. He pull up. She expect this nigga to pay for the drinks they already had, plus whatever they drink. Wow, he yeah. mm. Is that naughty or nice? Mm. These bitches is foul. <laughs> like, I know support I've black women. It. Support black women. Um, What's <laughs> the answer? Naughty or nice? Because... For that I've situation, that is before. that's that's bogus. Like you can't expect yeah. nobody to pick up the tab that y'all y'all bitches been drinking already. Like right. but, but, I wasn't even here. So this guy who did who went there, did he do it? Oh, that's the real question. Yeah, I gotta because I know it. niggas who would do it, even I though think he, I think he did it though. Knowing her, I think he did it. No, if she bad like that to him, yeah, I think he did it. Yeah, he gonna do it. Like whatever, especially he if he didn't get the gift yet. Especially if he on the spot too. <laughs> he didn't get the pussy. He might as well yeah. do it. Fuck it. $200, it, it saves me the room that I could have got. I'm really realizing that I need to keep my pussy to myself. If I'm on a spot in front no, of you a bad don't. bitch, yes, I'm I paying do. for it. You have one no, life. Do no, you no, really want to? Let me wanna... tell you why I said this. Because the way y'all speaking about pussy, it seems like it's a one-time thing for y'all. Like, it's not. Like, it's like not. once y'all get the, like, you, y'all just said this out of y'all mouth. It's not a gift no more. Yeah, that don't mean that it's not valuable to me. It's just not a gift no more. But nothing is as valuable once you have it as it was when you wanted it. It's like you buy, you could buy yeah, a new you Porsche work towards, today. You work towards getting things. Like once you get, I watched that, uh, what's the woman's show on HBO? Uh, a lot what of, is it? Insecure. Uh-huh. And the girl, like Molly, show, she working up in the ladder. Mm-hmm. And once she gets where she wants, she wants more. It's never satisfying. So it's like right. that. Like, Damn. Once you get what you want, you 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 just want yeah. more. It's, it's kind of like if you, you buy a new Porsche today, right? Like this is your dream car. You buy this, this, this whatever. Four months from now, you're gonna be dropping fries between the seat, and not picking them up. Like you're not gonna care. It's pussy. It's kind of yeah, the same. You're way. not gonna treat it as clean as you, as good as you. I mean, yeah. I ain't gonna say that. Like I, tr- I treat the pussy right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's the the it's different. If I'm out here, I'm just out here, just fucking hoes, just doing with me. Yeah, once I hit you. My thirst is moved on to another, another one. one. Unless, unless I take you, you that love. serious. Yes. Yeah, if I tell you different. that serious, it's different. I, I don't move that fast no more. I kind of be on shit one at a time now. But yeah. I'm more so like I'm taking a shower every time the first three times we fuck. Before we fuck, like right before we fuck, I'm taking a shower every time the first three times. After that, it's Why? Like, you might get some dirty dick. <laughs> like, she, you just might. She like, get some, I just was at work. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it, it, it might not matter after I that. I feel like, you. It ain't yeah. that serious no more. That's like... That's normal though, like when okay, you're in a relationship good. or whatever. Good. Okay, so is that naughty or nice? Buying your friend the friend drinks. Yes, that's nice. That's nice. nice. With that, exactly. Yeah. Okay, last one, y'all. Before we get into the some things, buying the girl or the man gifts during a talking stage. That's mm. nice. I do that. <laughs> your fucking neck. Because I'm like, <laughs> that motherfucker just see, jerked. <laughs> I could see how it's both ways. I could see it where you know it just it's situational. Cause it's like, don't what, do it. What are we don't talking? do it, ladies. What Nobody's nigga shit if y'all just talking. Like I really feel like wow. she if she fuck with him like that, yeah, why she can't buy him she something? Got a little bread. It's 
all these scams. Fuck what y'all talking fuck? about. Yeah, right, the pandemic. Do not buy these niggas shit until y'all get the title. Because I feel like men will take advantage of that. Y'all love not nah, having a title until nah. it's time. I don't even be feeling comfortable accepting gifts from women. It, it make me yeah, love it make Really? It, I think about yeah. them lying between love and hate way too much. Way <laughs> nah, not even for that reason. <laughs> nah, that bitch was, I do, oh, that like, bitch was unhinged. Like, but I mean, I feel like I've seen it where like when a woman buys something for you, she hold it over your head. If she do anything for you, it's not the same. Well, I don't know. I'm a nigga, so I feel like we yeah. always give, give, give. We we kind of providers, you know. You know, so I yeah. feel like when women do that shit, they hold on to that shit. Like she ain't bite. She bought you them shoes, and you fuck up. She want them shoes back. I don't give a fuck. Or I'm a wreck them like shoes because I bought them shoes. So I don't, it don't even think of it like be... that. I just don't. I, na- I just true. naturally women don't. Yeah. If you take my hoodies and we and you fuck up, you just got my hoodies now. I'm not going to your house and bleaching your shit or you know wanting you to give me my shit back. Like sometimes, Larry, y'all really deserve things like that. Why? Y'all deserve. Why don't y'all though? Y'all deserve. Right. I just feel like why don't women ever deserve? what they put out like why don't that why is it like i just could be whatever and you just gotta accept it why can't yeah, it yeah because because they not nine times out of ten i'm gonna be honest with y'all niggas be fucking up and women don't <sighs> this isn't an answer what though. Is this? <laughs> this is not an answer <laughs> Is it the this is you saying bitch? like you just beating around it and going back to the i'm saying y'all literally do not have like what is the word i'm looking for like the insight to understand what the fuck Y'all are doing wrong. That's what I'm saying. Like women, I, this is my perspective. So it. women fuck up on purpose. Is what you're saying. They women fuck are up calculated. At a, at a We're way more they calculated mad. than y'all. That makes us way. That makes y'all way worse. Exactly. Way worse. Y'all are way worse. Way worse. Way worse. Way because we we have a little intention behind the things that we do. Yeah. yeah. Always got. But be answer the question. Women, yeah. man, What's I'm the question again? You, Shit. What yeah. the fuck was the question? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, not buying your b- buying the person you're talking to during the talking I, 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 I get Black Friday just passed. Like, oh my. So you be on, you buying bitches gifts? Yeah. You date girls around times where you supposed to get them stuff. Like you start <laughs> you start dating a chick around Christmas. I wait till after. <laughs> I actually matter of fact, y'all please do not date this nigga. Hey, it'd be after tough February, holidays. because I don't know this. But this is real. The same way women feel like when they when they um. You know, you bought something for a nigga, so you he better take you serious mm-hmm. in a way. Mm-hmm. I feel like Valentine's Day and Christmas and shit is personal. Like, I don't feel like you just buying shit yeah. for random people just because we talk. What about birthdays? If it's if I'm talking to you around your birthday, I could buy you something. There's nothing okay. wrong with that. Okay. Yeah. But if I'm... I don't feel like if we started talking on the 10th of February that you... Need some elaborate gift on the fourteenth. No, hell that's no. crazy. That's four days. Four I don't days. even think you need nothing. We might just pop we out. Go out. We can pop out somewhere. We can pop out. We can pop out. But that's it though. But that's it though. Yeah, yeah. That's four days. Because first of all, in these four days, I don't even know enough about you to buy you something that you gonna actually like. So it's like you start well, I'm gonna let y'all know. Like, okay, women be feeling super offended. Not four days though, Larry. But like, if y'all talking to me for at least a good two months right before uh, February fourteenth yeah. or whatever. Oh, yeah. We're expecting a gift. We're Facts. expecting something. It might be some little shit because I might be talking to somebody else if Facts. we ain't together at on 14th. If yeah. we ain't together, I might have another chick. So I might not be with nobody. I might just go watch All Star Weekend like it usually be. That's what all niggas say. Yeah. I mean, that that's shit what is... all niggas say. But if a niggas telling you that, that means you're the side bitch, unfortunately. If it's on the 14th, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, 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 not always though. Sometimes you really might sometimes, have too much Sometimes do y'all much take your that savage out? Like, do y'all pick the savage over the the main bitch? Sometimes no. Pick, in what yeah, situation? I like, I ain't, in- I ain't married or nothing, so I can't speak on what I would do for my side hoes. Cause it's like, no, I just I one day, one one at a time, like you said. Like, right. I got I'm this one at a time res- now. I got this responsibility right now. This is a bill in itself. I don't have time to get another bill or side bill. Mm-hmm. Side bitch, mm-hmm. side bill, same words to me. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> like, right, right. I got to take her. I got to act like I care. I well, got to no, listen to her it, conversation. It, 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 wait, wait, we got to run this back. Side bitch side bill. and side, side bill. bill. Yeah. Right. Same thing. It's like them extra yeah. charges you get out of nowhere. Exactly, because yeah. I feel like relationships cost you bread. Like, But nah, side yeah. bitches be knowing they side bitches. They don't expect shit. That's why we love them. That's true. but They don't expect nothing. Dude. I'm thinking about the that one that want to be mad if you don't take her out on Valentine's Day. She weekend. out of line. She is shit. out of line. I agree yeah, 100%. Line. Because you, yeah. if you a side bitch, you kind of got to know my situation. You yeah. you got to know I got a bitch. I don't care to what extent. You know I, feel I like got somebody. I feel like y'all should be... 
I feel like if you're a sad bitch and extort these sad niggas, queen. Can we, extort can we these sad niggas? Queen. Yeah, sad queen. <laughs> if she is, we gotta put some respect on this. Not sad shit. queen. Like main bitch, not sad, sad queen. queen. I like it. Anyways, I like it. If you a sad bitch, extort these niggas for everything they got, or call a bitch and tell on them. Period. But what if they? No, they like their position. They would never yeah, listen like, to you. What if, if sad bitches goes, are not in your audience? They not even gonna see this shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> they like, not listening to this. They at don't all. fuck with you. Like, <laughs> like nah. So, like, I'm really a bitch. You make that them feel bad about they self self worth. Okay. Yeah, like they hate. They gonna kill themselves. But this is why my <laughs> advice is to sad bitches. I'm trying to help them extort these right. niggas. Okay. Because they, they get are... what they want though. Because if I, if if a chick your sad bitch, she probably got a nigga she fuck with too. He facts. just that's she foul if facts. she do though. She, facts. if that's she do facts. she foul though. Well, I ain't gonna say. Sad bitches well, gotta be loyal. I mean, shit, but you know how that goes. Not Sometimes, sad bitches gotta be loyal though. Gotta be loyal. Like, think about that. I want bitch. you to think about that. Nah, I'm, I'm saying like, about it. what if she meet I'm a nigga that it. she want to take serious out of nowhere? She gonna end up leaving you probably. But it's like that it's cool because then I could get another. And if All right, guys, we're gonna. Is that not your nice ban the girl that you talking to in the talking stage again? I'm I'm buying girls gifts in the talking stage. I'm a good gift giver too. She's gonna be cheap and nice. She's gonna love it. Hey, I mean, not I guess, cheap and nice. I guess I would. I, I have. I sure have. Okay. I have. I got a question. This is not like on the topic, but it is on the topic. Do y'all like buy gifts and like do things intentionally just for a pussy? Mm-mm. Mm-mm, not buying gifts. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> they give up pussy so yeah, fast like, now. Women like, it's, like crazy. it's oh, this new on. world. We gotta address what he just said. They do. They give it up fast. You yes. say that's not true. Yes, twenty twenty. Yeah, it yes. Is There's it's not true. too many chicks I'm talking to. I've been told you, especially when you live by yourself. When you when you move by yourself, it's just you and her. This is our third time kicking. She's giving you pussy, like Jeez. no date. That's okay. You this is you this episode is really none, gonna make me just not fuck up. anymore. I'm letting y'all know why. That. And you know what y'all say too. You know <laughs> I don't what y'all understand. Do? Every time y'all get a oh, pussy up quick, y'all swear y'all never done this before. It's like either I'm the smoothest <laughs> nigga in Chicago, <laughs> or y'all bitches is lying because y'all all <laughs> say the same lying. shit. I've lying. never, I never gave it up this fast. I don't even do this like that. All right, whatever. I heard this yesterday. Two months later, we tell him one. I heard this. Then, then two months later, we exchanging one night stand stories. Like you dirty bitch. Like I met this nigga one time. That nigga one time. All right, dude, like I feel like yeah. this is the harsh truth that I really. It's hard to hear this. It's really hard to hear this. It's, it's, hard it's to okay hear though. though. It's, not it's hard it. to hear this because the way that y'all look at, not necessarily women, but pussy, right. but pussy. Yeah. Well, I mean. I love those. It's also in a way the way y'all hold pussy. How y'all hold it? Like you, if some niggas gonna look at it as if you tell them that the pussy is so high on the pedestal to them, they gonna slut it out just to let you know how much it's not. Right? Like why don't niggas be want to humble bitches? Because you be going too hard. Yeah, I never go tried to humble. Especially me, I feel like niggas be want to humble me. Like I never tried to humble. I mean, you hit nerves to people that I really don't get because it don't bother me. (laughs) Thank you, thank you, Larry. But it just be like, I think I don't think they follow enough women who say a lot of wow shit. Wow shit. shit. Because I I do, and I've seen some. Like I said, it's way worse. (laughs) Now that Tony Tone chick is. Terrible. The what? Who is Isn't it? That on Twitter, Tony Tone or some shit? Tone? It's like Tone with a zero. Oh, I know I what you're know. talking about. Terrible. She not from the United States. She like Britain or some shit. She she I don't know. I just know. I see a lot of different things that I be like. I just know like this is just your internet Some shit be thing. outlandish. This is, the, this is the, the internet life though. Yeah. This isn't real. Yeah. I know you You got a nigga at home who you bow down to. Like it's The bow it's, down is crazy. It's but bow down. <laughs> the bow down is real crazy. Yeah. But Okay, dad. But we, we, when they get home. <laughs> I, I really know. like contrary to probably I don't look at it like if she gave the pussy quick she a hoe and nothing like that just to clear that yeah, up like my was. last two relationships I fucked in less than a week and it was they was both like four year long four years long yeah I don't agree with that either I think that connection matters more but like, yeah I could fuck the first night and and, and we could follow if it was a good right. night though if you gave me the pussy for no reason this is a regular night you gave me some pussy no yeah it was it had to not. be a night but if we if it's a vibe I give you a pass okay is this not even nice because we finna move the fuck on. Um, it was by it? it was buying the talking. The oh yeah, we, that's oh, nice. Nice. We okay, nice. nice. Oh yeah, we went, we did that already. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, we finna get into pop culture real quick, just like two of them. So, women being accountable. <laughs> that happened. What about that? Yeah, I, I actually was wondering like what story you so heard yeah, that a woman was women in accountability like, like water <laughs> and grease like the I shit never don't, knew those don't two words mix. go together. They should go together. Honestly, I'm going to say this. I low-key want this to be edited out, but <laughs> I'm going to say this. 
But I do feel like men in my situations, like, y'all do be kissing ass a lot. And y'all do do a lot for women and, like, provide and shit like that. But is it consistent? No. And do y'all lie? Yes. So that's where the issue comes. Everybody like, lie. Mm-hmm. Do, but do y'all lie more? Yes. No, that's not true either. That's true, Larry. Um, I, I mean, mean okay, like... it's only women be making you lie to them sometimes. You know, like y'all do this thing where, like, if a nigga too truthful, why do it hurts I see your head feelings. nods? It hurts your feelings, though. If a nigga too truthful, if he tell you what you, you something, if he tell you something that you didn't really want to hear, but you did want to know, and, and you, you might respect it, but your feelings is hurt, mm-hmm. and now you might be mad at him and tell him. You don't got to always tell me everything or some goofy shit like yeah, that. I agree. And then it could be as simple as, did I eat before I came home? Like, did you eat and you mad because I ate type shit? So now- That's marriage shit. I'm I don't not, know about that. Man, that's not- That's girlfriend no, that's shit. Because like, yeah. that's if you real. with your girl- In a right, relationship. In a relationship with your girl, y'all don't even have to live together. Anytime you eat on your way to her, right. you in trouble. You're in trouble because my bitches don't cook enough for something. I don't. I, it ain't I, just don't, I have not experienced this. <laughs> what? I have not experienced this. They be this. mad. It's it's like a it's like a thing where your that happened to me before. Man. To be honest, when I was dating this dude back in they, the summer, they got food ready for you. Is what you're saying? No, they don't. They <laughs> oh, that shit is to, wild. First we of all, eat they want to eat together. together first of all, we want to eat together, and guess what we want to do? Y'all we want eat. y'all to figure it out. We figure want, out what we they want y'all to figure out what we're gonna eat as a unit. And then so you can eat my food. Okay, I just yeah. I'm sorry. I got a girl right now. Right. And we get into it about this every night, almost. If we, it, like, it, we cook. I cook now. So it's like, whatever. Okay, but like, cook. Oh, I'll be getting it in. Okay. Quarantine, you know, chef boy or quarantine. <laughs> but <laughs> when you, she, you, like, she, I could give her three options. She still want me to make the decision. Yes. Exactly. And then women get this thing where they be mad when you, you comfortable with what you eat. So you're going to eat what you eat. Like, if you eat whatever you like, Two, three times a week. It's not going to bother you, but it's going to bother her because that's not what she eat all the time. Right. So now she's it's like, really not say she nothing. don't want to eat She's going to be passive aggressive about it. Yeah, and that's depending on how long y'all been together. Because if you've been together is. long enough, she's going to say something. Yes. And it's going to be, you always, at the end of the day, you're going to always have to pick what to eat. You're going to always, and she's going to be mad at the times too. Like, nigga. Do you feel like men compromise more than women? What? What? You, yeah, yes. that's automatic. Yeah. Yes. Automatic. Good. Facts. Because we feel like we could have all the hoes. Facts. And we already compromised enough to have one. I'm just being real. Wait, hey, that's some real shit. I wasn't expecting that. That's, that's some real shit. That was shit. something I ain't ever heard before. That's some real shit. You are compromising. Like, like, yo, yeah. You always hear niggas talk about how they want a relationship where they could be uh, with more than one woman and all this goofy shit that they couldn't really do. But, but I feel like, do men a, really want that though? They don't really want that, but they mm. want to be able to be the lion. They want to be able to fuck all the, all the no. other lady, the lioness. We want to fuck them all. Just, yeah. I mean, not all of them, but, but the ones that we want to fuck. It, it's the thrill, too. Like, yeah. nigga, like a lot of chicks would be like, oh, new pussy. if I don't want my nigga to cheat, I'm going to give him a threesome. But he wants to fuck bitches without you knowing, not bitches that you picked. He wants his own bitches. That's why yeah, he's cheating. not. It's, it's he not even trying bitches. to hide him from you. It's you just, give him a threesome, he's still going to fuck another This is my little life of kingdom. Yeah. You know, this like, is my little. I want to be in control y'all, of the pussy I feel like y'all need help in that aspect. That is really like something that's very primal. I would really like to know why... We are like that. Yeah, it is something hey. that, I want to like, know too, and I be trying to figure that shit out through conversation. But it's just something I can never get a grip on because you, I'm not a man. Period. Look at my face. You see yeah. my face. Period. Do you see an answer? It is. <laughs> I don't know. Period. I just know it's in all of us. I do think women lie more though. Going back to that, and I think that they lie more bef- because y'all are judged harder. So like y'all know if I tell this nigga too much about my sex life or too mm-hmm. much about this, too mm-hmm. much about that, he's gonna. Look at me. Put me in a box. Exactly. So like y'all lie. Anything regarding another nigga, y'all either downplaying it a lot. You know when Mm -hmm. they say you fucked anything. uh, A couple niggas, but it really be three. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck. Multiply by three. Yeah. That's definitely a women thing. Yeah, Yeah, I know. I don't want to know that. (laughs) I don't don't need to know all that at all. But but what I I do would like to like if. If what do y'all want to know about women? We just need to know if you fuck somebody we cool with. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. That's really it. Cause I don't want to be around no nigga who's seeing you naked. Like I don't want to. He can't be my guy like that. Like we ain't finna yeah. smoke and kick it. <laughs> this nigga done seen you naked. Like no, seeing somebody I, naked yeah, is facts. the most vulnerable shit you could do in a relationship other than spill your feelings. I feel like so. It's like you heard Drake, girl. You know I seen you naked. 
Yeah, I seen you naked. I'm so so weak. if another nigga feel like Drake, <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. We gon' we yeah. we're just not gonna be together. Yeah. What do y'all think about like? Because I asked this question because the um, the women's accountability question because of the Anne Marie situation where she shot the dude in the in the head. Yeah. And say his name. Don't say, know his name. His Don't know his name. name but his respect name. to that young man. Can we have a say man. his name movement like the, nah, like the women? No, no. <laughs> say his name. No, you can't have that movement. Do you know why though? Because why? this is what they're gonna tell you. This is the truth. Like this is what they're gonna tell you. All of, all they're gonna say gonna Attack you on the internet, right? Because we know the names of all the niggas already. We don't be knowing the names of the women that be going through say your names. Right, right, right. So that's Facts. why they say say her name. Facts. Because Facts. say his name. Facts. We knew dude who got choked out. I forget it now because it's every week. Eric Gardner. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. the newest right. name who got choked Facts. out. The one we Facts. rided for this year. George, George Floyd. Floyd. Oh, George we knew Floyd. his name. Yeah, yeah. We have to Facts. say his name because they Facts. knew it. We need to know the nigga name who Shorty shot in the head, though. We do right. need to know his we name. We don't know, know his, his name. name. But I wonder if he's going to press charges, but that's not my business. But if the he issue don't, is... He's still alive. Is fantastic. Yeah, I think he's still alive. Yes. If I he, think he's still alive. If a nigga wake up from getting shot in the head and don't snitch, her pussy is fantastic. That's to him. I don't want none. <laughs> <laughs> to him. Because <laughs> another nigga she fucked is like, this stupid ass bitch is like, this nigga better press charges, man. That pussy man, wasn't that good, man. <laughs> man but geez. I've been seeing, like, on like, and like the entirety of the situation is a lot of women, women was making jokes about it, but they wasn't making jokes about the Tory situation. Oh, yeah. They never, you know, so. It's always like that, though. And men, I, can I, I feel bad for men because, like, y'all be in domestic violence situations and nobody would ever know no about it. Police don't even, they yeah. laugh at you if exactly. you call about stuff. Unless exactly. you a little, like, unless they get there, it's too late. But, like. Men are the most disrespected people on the internet okay. when it comes to like the freedom to disrespect. You can't yeah. freely disrespect no other group but black men the way you like the way you can do black. You could call a woman a black woman a, a, a gorilla bitch. You could you know how they be trying to do uh, Michelle Obama. You could do all that wild shit, but you got consequences for it. Mm-hmm. You right. can say fuck black men right now and be Michelle Obama, and nothing will happen mm-hmm. at all. That's what I mean by the disrespect. Like, we don't get... But we live with that. It's like a punch in the face. We do that right. every day. We're black men. Straight you know what? Men. I agree with you, Larry. Straight black men. Because you can't say about no gay, no you say gay something black about men. Black, gay black men, you're go- you probably got to delete you your Twitter. <laughs> it's <laughs> you really right. sad because I do agree with you. And I've been hearing this a lot from black men. Like, I do think, like, y'all at the bottom of the totem pole right now. Like, yeah. just because right how things are shifting. On the internet. Things they, are shifting. Like, black women are becoming more superior and more, like... Dominant than not dominant in a sense, but we're taking over a little bit in, in that. They just giving y'all society is y'all like, society, y'all yeah. Society like, yeah. It's a thing right now in the, in society right now. This whole summer where they was like catering to black people just because they didn't it was want propaganda. Us to be the way we were at the moment. It's the same thing with black women right now. The last two or three years, they giving a lot of black women big jobs and, and opportunities. Because black women be yelling about that shit. They be like, we don't get it. And we mm-hmm. the most educated group in the world, in the U.S. So mm-hmm. it's like, what That's the facts. fuck? But it's like, it's just a cater. And I, I be wanting people to realize that so they don't get too so, sucked Sucked into it. it. Like, Because it's like, they going to do this shit until the Asian women yell. Exactly. And then it's going to move to them. Or then it's going to be a whole nother group. Like, it's always... Could you imagine Asian women yelling? No, <laughs> I have heard them. Like, when they... Yeah. I can't do it. I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Like that type of shit gets you in trouble now, but I got it. But yeah, I've heard it. I've heard it. Like, <laughs> but I do agree, and I do not really feel bad for y'all. But it's just why, some, why it's just don't... something that I see. It's an observation that I see um, I because I, I, I mean I do participate or I have participated in you know attacking being a little, black men. First of all, uh, <laughs> being, <laughs> being a little hard on y'all. Are we making that bet? But Are we making that bet. What's the bet? Oh, the disclaimer. Oh, yeah. The disclaimer before we started, guys, was that I was not supposed to say anything negative about men. And I haven't, right? You haven't. I, I give you did. a half a point, though. I mean, I, I think we get a half a point because in the beginning, you said it's Why? one black... Why not, not you remembering the beginning? Yeah, I do remember because it was like, it was, it's me as a black woman versus these two. <laughs> and just looked at me. us like we were not people or nothing. We were just two. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Thing one and thing two, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Anyway, See, Larry, we can't call y'all, but we can't call y'all females. I was just agreeing with you. I agree with you a lot. But anything, I wanted to, but anyway, I wanted to talk about 
the Anne Marie situation versus the Tory situation? And do y'all think that it's being handled differently? Absolutely. Yeah. But Megan also has a bigger platform where she has more cele- more celebrity status. So nah. So the the thing to me is like when when Tory shot well when whatever, whatever happened happened with Tory and Megan it was like if a nigga asked why it was like it don't matter why. Mm-hmm. Stop victim shaming. But if, why does it matter? Nigga, why? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not saying okay. they do. I'm saying that's what everybody was saying. Okay. And it was like, oh, if he didn't shoot her, who did? Even though it was four other people. So now flip with Anne Marie, like she didn't do it. It's only two people in the room. <laughs> like that is like, oh, she didn't do it, or like he must have been playing with her feelings. So now we want to know why he mm-hmm. shot her. But with Tory, we didn't want to know why. But now when it's flip, when that's one doing some man, now we want to know why. Or is it justified? Don't play with people' feelings mm-hmm. and shit. Like it's a bunch of goofy shit. So I it agree. is. So all, all of the women who are doing that, it kind of like make the women's argument when it comes to shit like that lose credibility when a sh- when a sh- when a s- when a script flip and mm-hmm. y'all don't handle it the same way. It's kind of like y'all lose credibility. I do feel bad for y'all in the sense that like, actually I don't. No, I but mean, anyway, <laughs> so I, the I, next I, one. You shouldn't have to feel bad because I, I feel, feel like bad. women have lived the double standard life for a long enough. Exactly. Like I just feel like this is built up. Standard. It's cool. We can deal with it because right. we live with this in real. The internet shit is the internet, but right. niggas still live with this every day in mm-hmm. real life. So it's mm-hmm. like, whatever. This is just the internet. I could clock a log off of here. Exactly. You know. And I feel like the internet definitely like I don't know like I don't know where social media is gonna go. But the damage that is already done, it's terrible. It's Social bad. media is not like, it's you have to be very bad. careful about what you consume. It is bad, Terry, because mm-hmm. we have a lot of vulnerable minds out there, gullible minds out there, mm-hmm. who are who are letting like the internet really influence them and their decisions. Like We mm-hmm. have to really take that into account. Everybody's not like us, where we can, we know what to consume and we don't know what to consume, but mm-hmm. but the internet is just... And it's only getting worse. It's out of control. Yeah, it really is out of control. I think from a business standpoint, it's, it's good. From an individual standpoint, it's bad. Business-wise, you got to direct to consumer. Uh, it's a lot of millionaires coming off the internet. Absolutely. It's a lot of ways to start businesses. But it's just a way yeah, you it's use it. It's how you use it. Yeah, it's a tool. Yeah, yeah. It's a tool. Okay. Now, paying for pussy. I mean, I don't know if y'all ever paid for pussy. It's not my business. Is it naughty or nice? It depends. It's not about naughty or nice. It's, oh. What about <laughs> it's just... It's just... <laughs> Man paying for pussy, like little baby. This is the situation with little baby. Mm. Him paying for coochie and mm. six thousand dollars for coochie. Mm. I mean, he could do what he want. It's his money. I feel like I. I mean, like niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas. I'm so niggas weird. buy pussy. Fuck the all fact the time. he got a girlfriend. Though, like, yeah, fuck fuck the fact he in a relationship. It's his money. <laughs> it's his money. <laughs> but I mean, like, be real. He's a little baby. Right. Like Jada waiter, whatever y'all call her. She been going through this with this nigga since I've heard her name. Exactly. So it's like, and then on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, he's a rapper. So all of that shit come with the territory. Oh. When you deal with a nigga who getting money from rap oh, and you shit. not his wife. Yeah. yeah. It don't I make mean, you not his wife. his wife. But I feel it's like it's a little because more. Because T.I. was definitely cheating on that bitch, Tiny, nah, with Bernice. Nah, but Tiny was fucking bitches with T.I. So but that's what set him. Bernice I mean, that's what helped better him than keep Tiny. going. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, bitch. That's why me. you don't get these niggas threesome. Yeah, but Bar- Bernice look better than Tiny, though. <laughs> yeah. Better. Yeah. You know, it's all, everything in the world is situational. It's, yeah. Yeah. People respond to everything differently. So, like, it's a nigga who can have threesomes and not cheat. We saw it on them. Well, no, that wasn't threesome. That was open relationship. But regardless, like, mm-hmm. that shit can happen. I mm-hmm. just know. Like, I mean, I just know, yeah, I, you know, whatever, man. This, this shit is know. just. I think that it, it's wild that he paid to fuck a, a woman star. that looks lesser. Than his woman. Than his, like, why was. I mean, that's what my, that's so? my thing. And that's the conversation it, I had yeah, with my friends. Like, what was like, the thrill at? Though? Exactly. Like, what the was thrill, the thrill was her riding her? dick. You ever yeah, seen this bitch ride dick? She go crazy. Yeah, but I think he could have got something similar for free. No, but hear me, though. He wanted her, he, though. He seen that video. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And there. said, I got enough access to get this bitch. Right. I'm finna get her. And then the fact that if I pay you up front and let you know what I'm on, when you get here, we own that. And that's yeah. what it is. It ain't no, I don't have to, ta- I don't have to do all the extra shit. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't have done it. I'm not say. a pay for pussy guy, but I feel like we all I are in the long run. Like, yeah. we pay I mean, for you're paying for it indirectly. I hate pussy. when y'all say that because you don't have, like, we, you do. Girls be fucking so fast. Like, yeah, but every girl, could, though, <sighs> every girl, you know, there's some girls that you did okay. go out the way for. Before you fuck, it. it's girls who I went out the way for after I fucked. Yeah, but I'm just saying. But before, nah. I but I'm really. just saying, like, it's situational, like you said. 
You pay for the pussy, man. You do. Yeah. Nah, you I pay. pay for for I directly pay for pussy. Free ninety nine. Pussy is always paid for. Always. It doesn't matter like how it's paid for, but it's paid. It's paid for. Not at all. Nah. Not at all. It's some. Nah. You remember when we was when we were younger, when we used to say bustle. It's some buses out here. It's Still. some buses like, out here. Come, yeah. come get this man. Yeah. It's real bus downs out here. Like, somebody like, to, to come me, get him. <laughs> for me, like it's been it's been forever since I took a chick somewhere where I wouldn't have went anyway. Right. I feel you. you like, get what I'm if saying? you go out like, somewhere and you just want somebody it's, with you, it don't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for you is if that I want you with me. Like I was gonna go here anyway. Like even if you didn't yeah, come, I, mean, I was gonna come here. If she tells you I was gonna give you some anyway, then you didn't pay for the pussy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If she tell you that, like I was gonna give you some anyway. I'm yeah. glad we went to the museum. No, I, I'm just tripping that he paid it's for nice. condom sex. Like I don't like. Yeah, I like Ross. I'm not paying six thousand to fuck somebody with a rubber. Six thousand with a rubber? On? <laughs> that what? Shit crazy. What? Somebody said actually that condom sex and rub. I mean, in regular raw sex is. The same shit. Who, like, said, that? who said that lie? I I, I, it was somebody who don't got a dick. For women. Yes. For women. <laughs> yeah, it was a woman. Uh, for, for women, women yeah. honestly, oh, I mean, sometimes you could tell the difference, but a lot of times you cannot tell, like, when the condom is on. Especially if, like, the pussy is wet. If it's wet. Well, yeah, you cannot women. tell. Shit, if it's, but too, if it's me, wet enough, I can't tell shit. Yeah. I have to check that shit. Like, hold on. Like, did I bust through it? <laughs> but, nah, for me, it's shit. like, nah, that shit matters. Like, yeah, man. I like, know. Like, nah. Like, no, yeah. no, I'm not paying six thousand dollars to fuck with a condom on, even though it's like, yeah, that's I wild as hell. But it's, the whole situation is wild, the whole itself. situation is wild. But at the same time, I mean, niggas pay for pussy all the time. But my yeah. thing is, I mean, I mean, I always ask y'all, both of y'all, is actually all the time, pussy, like, you're paying for this woman to fuck you, mm -hmm. it's pussy. Mm -hmm. So, what's the difference between just fucking your bitch? Like, that's just what I it's don't understand. No, 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 no. It's, it's different. That's, that's why pussy's not a gift. That should show you that pussy is not a gift. When niggas paying for new pussy. How you but gonna that should me... show you that it is. No, no. 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 How, you gonna give, how you gonna give me your same pussy that I've been getting as a gift and I'm out here buying new pussy? Right. <laughs> like, but that your pussy you the something. gift, though, because you my girl. So that your pussy you the gift. <laughs> but I fucked her and I... Got to fuck her and didn't have to hear her talk. I didn't have to hear about what happened at work today. I mm. got to fuck this bitch who I saw on the porn website <laughs> last night. And I said, I'm about to fly out and fuck her tonight. That's what's wrong with y'all, Larry. It's I'm wrong. so happy you put it like that because y'all are like really like uh, one track minded. Yeah. Straightforward. One track minded people. And it's really sad. And Why I really do we have to be so dynamic It's sad though. to me. If I just want to fuck, why do it have to be so dynamic? Where it's like, I got to go through all these extra loopholes. Prostitution is like the oldest profession. Yes. So yes. if I can just pay for some, it's the oldest profession because it's something that we really want. Like, we want that <laughs> shit. And we don't want to have to, if I pay shit. you for this, I don't have to do the extra shit. I don't have to take you out. I don't have to care about you tomorrow. I don't have to text right. you. Nothing. I get to fuck tonight But that's and why that he said it's bad business, mama. Because she put that shit I can't, on she social media. Nothing. Why the fuck yeah. do, how the fuck do a chick expose you? And you DM her after that. Like, what the fuck are you thinking about, G? Yeah, because she's when definitely... He was, trying to, that, he was trying to clear his name. When he did that, in, in that was, my mind, he, I'm uh, like, there's no way he really fucked her. Because no nigga would have a bitch expose him and then DM her off his account. Like, who He did that shit. He was panicking. His, he was panicking. Yeah, he, he got a bitch. Pills, it was just his birthday. You know, like That nigga was probably tweaking your account, busting though? at the crib. He was panicking. Like, yeah, he tweaked with that. Damn. Niggas don't know how to Man, that bitch done put that shit about that. Let me text her real quick. Man. He didn't even get the bitch number because he's quick paid the bitch and and DM'd her. That's all he had to do. He probably never had the girl number. Something's like wrong with you. that's I mean, but I'm just saying, like, y'all be acting like jobs don't come with stuff. Like certain positions come with certain levels of uh professionalism. No, any I mean, yeah, both sides. Cause she lost a lot of business when yeah. she did that. Yeah. But like with him, it's not only fans probably niggas dumb, be though. niggas yeah. be paying for all types of bitches. Like it's I know this because I know regular niggas who pay for pussy. Like I just know. Damn, so really? it's like, yeah, like directly. Like I know <laughs> niggas. No niggas is doing that. Terry. I mean, on vacation for sure. On vacation. Niggas is you know niggas, niggas is who be getting. You know niggas who be getting money who just be giving bitches shit who never. Fuck oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, like okay, even yeah, if I give yeah, you a purse yeah, or some that's shoes, that's, 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 that's paying for pussy because she wanted that, and I just really want to fuck. I don't even want you. I don't even want to know your favorite color. So who is the superior gender? We superior to, gender. We're about to get into some things, okay? Yeah. Superior, uh, superior about superior. what? Just superior in general. Uh, it's, I think it's a balance of 
I think it's a balance. No, you have to choose one. Oh, I'm picking men then. Men are the spirit gender. We hold the men. we hold the uh we the fact that men think they are prizes makes my fucking ass. It's not hurt. you didn't say prize. You but said no. superior. Yeah. Okay, so we, we give you access to all your life dreams. Y'all don't give us access to Oh my god, for no, the end this though. episode. No, that, but that's true though. It's men facts. don't aspire to be a woman's man <laughs> at all. We don't. <laughs> None of my life dreams we, include you. Like, like no, 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 no. I ain't gonna say it don't include them, but it'd be like it be bonus. just a fucking silhouette of a woman, and it could be any woman that you pick to put yeah. in that place. Yeah, like it's just true. That's but, just true, though. And then we also feel like women come with no. the shit that we want. Like women come with money, and like women come with that shit. I don't see. See, I don't see that. That's the twenty twenty nigga shit because I don't be feeling like niggas. You can't traditional relationships be a man provide a woman set the shit up. She make everything work. Domestic. You you get the money. She worked the money, mm-hmm. but you go build the crib. You know what I'm saying? Like right. she take care of the crib. But if you want your woman to have money and all this extra shit, she's gonna have more power than you at the house where you can't be that traditional nigga that you want. Exactly, be real and bad. I feel like that's a great right. point because 2020, the 2020 woman is not. She not. imagining a nigga in her fucking she, dreams. The new like, 2020 it's woman, different. Might got it's a bitch so in different. Her yeah, we I might. Want- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she got a right. bitch. Uh, she's trying to marry a woman. Hey, that shit sound good. No cap, because you know you would come with a woman. But anyway, right. that shit sound good. Anyways, on the internet. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Anyways, no, I understand what you're saying. The 2020 though. woman is not just like, oh my god, I want to fall deep in down love. Inside, you feel like, yes, bro, they do. I feel when you know, like it's. Feel they all say y'all want to fall in love too, but y'all just so detached from y'all fucking emotions that y'all can't realize. That. I think and we that's all, got a point. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. She, she said we so detached from our emotions that y'all can't she, realize that y'all actually right do want love from us. a woman. <laughs> I like, don't. I don't think nigga. I think niggas want love from a woman, but they wouldn't like niggas. Their whole our whole setup ain't about a woman. Where we believe, and we could be wrong, but how we grew up. Women do be wanting a house and a husband and a dog and a fence and a kids and a last name and all that other shit. They wanna women be wanting to be independent, but have a nigga these days. Yeah. But it's like you still want the nigga to you want to use his money to pay for your car, his money to pay for your bills. You want to use your money to pay for whatever you want to do for yourself, Facts. which Absolutely. is fucking goofy. Yeah, I feel me. like when, when, when it's me, just goofy to for me. me as a man when I think about my future and all that shit, and I think about like what I want in a woman. It's like I just want a woman to add on to whatever I got going on and help me in some type yeah. of aspect, whether it be spiritually, if it's financial, that's cool, if it's mental, whatever. What Just be a bonus to me in some type of way. Mm-hmm. But I already have this, and you're making me better somehow. With women, with what y'all want, y'all want a nigga to buy you a house, a ring, shit like like it, A nigga has to be a part of the shit for you to get it the way that you want it. Yeah, you don't even so take out your that's garbage. why we, we give you, you access to your, your life dreams. Like, you don't even want to kill your spiders. You, know you don't even want to kill your spiders. Gee, like, if a fucking door go off the hinge, you don't want to put it on. Facts. Exactly. You want a nigga to do it. Yeah. But y'all still be wanting coochie. So like, you want coochie? <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, that's, that's, that's like what it is. Take the companion shit that <laughs> come with it. Yeah. It's not like the most we need it thing. Niggas be like, man, I play Call of Duty tonight. Do you want I got some pussy I, from this random yeah. buster. Hey, I could have a oh bunch my of God, pussy. G, like, this is so like disheartening listen, to me. I, I could have a saying, bunch of pussy going in and out the, the crib. Truth. I get it because that's if true. If a nigga love a woman, it's way more than pussy. Right. So it'd be like, y'all hold the pussy I feel like that's what we get hold. so like lost in the in the lines of it because sometimes people be talking about relationship niggas and then just like single niggas. niggas. Exactly, yeah. then niggas. And if a nigga's yeah. on single business... You need, like, you kind of, y'all be knowing, man. That shit be goofy to me. Because if that was their friend going through the shit with the nigga, they would know exactly what the nigga was going through. But when it's them, they be like, uh, I think he like me. No, that nigga <laughs> fucking you like he fucking the other hoes. Exactly. He just own that. That's what he own right now. But we get to a point where we want to have a woman. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm there right yeah, now. You I'm get cool there. with that. Okay. Cool I respect that. the honesty, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, as far as rolling, running the country... Kamala versus Joe. We were just having a little briefing on this. Mm. Who do y'all think can run the better? Not mm. even because Joe is a we man. We have to pick. Not even because Joe is a man. Yeah, I ain't really rocking with neither yeah, one. Yeah, but I'm cool. I know Kamala's I mean, a cop. It's not about woman and man to me. It's about who they are. Yeah. And I just it's whatever they here. We got them. Yeah. The people got what they wanted. 
I hope they do what they said they was going to do. I don't think, I think, I, st- I do believe dudes who old to really be here for eight, like they all think they getting eight years nowadays. I don't know They're why, mm-hmm. but if they think they going to get eight years, I don't think he's going to get eight years. I think we going to end up having right. her, mm-hmm. which is whatever. Like, yeah. I, it's not a bad thing to me. Like, it is what it's. Always time for change in, in this shit. Like I just I be tired of seeing them niggas with them wigs on. Like that's all the niggas we had for president. They all wore wigs. Like, I'm straight. I want to see you know different shit. But yes. I don't care if it's a woman or a man. I just care if they if they right. Which is stupid to say because they no not. Poli- politicians exactly. are it's right. right. Exactly. Like, yeah, I, I agree with that 100. percent I I don't want to really choose between the two. But I will say this. I think that even if America is ready for a, a, um, a woman. To be, I was gonna say a female for a I woman know. to be president. What like, I'm, learning. I'm learning. I'm but, learning. But, I'm learning. Like, but female but, president is the correct term, though. It is. So is it wrong? Okay. It well, is. They, I don't know. They, they yeah, don't get beat know. up. You know. So right. why? Okay. But but, no, no. I'm a, go ahead, Terry. I, I was gonna say that I don't think the world might not be ready because. There's a lot of countries out here who just still don't respect women. They don't press so women. Yeah. When she goes to those meetings yeah. with the rest of the world, She'll it's gonna be press. some niggas in there yeah, like, her, like, what the man. fuck is she doing in here? Like, That's a great you know what I'm saying? Point, like, yeah. and she black. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? So the the world might not be ready to to deal with America if we have a black female president. So. I think America needs to calm down on thinking that we are the world too, because with a lot of shit we, we do. We got somebody said we like uh, a third world country with a Gucci belt on. In and a that's way, facts. like the way they treat us. That's I facts. mean, that's true. It's that's own, facts, it's Terry. Own, not the world, G. Facts. Not third certain, world. Hell in no. certain <laughs> aspects, it's true because of like how they treat us this year alone with all the people in this shit. Like, this shit kind of ruined a lot of stuff and it showed how much they are not prepared for a lot of Absolutely. things that they think they are. But yeah. I just, like you said, I just feel like, I just feel like, like America really got to get over themselves when it comes to the world because mm-hmm. it's it's deeper than. America, like we call it, like I'm talking about niggas who don't even care about uh, being an American. We just niggas who have conversations, but the way we force our ways on the world on the internet, mm-hmm. it'd be like, dude, we ain't even the biggest country. We don't not the majority. You can't just sit up here and say whatever's going on in yeah. America go should be the way it goes well, on everywhere yeah. else. Like yeah. I feel like America has a bad works. rep of doing that though. Like our rest, we our Western ways, we try to like force that in like. On other countries as well, like we not as under, yeah. understanding and we just not, as we think we are. Exactly. We need to smoke way more weed. I think so. I think so too. Everybody, if everybody smokes some weed or at least in those, okay. we will we be, okay. be like way more under, like dude, like the seventies and shit before <laughs> they started doing acid and shit when they was just smoking weed at the one year. Maybe. Like when you but go to Cali, <laughs> it's just a different vibe. Like yeah, everybody is so chill. They Cali, need to just look like Cali's weed. got a different racism to it. Like Chicago got that segregated racism. And it's, and a it's big very city. obvious. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's so right obvious. in your face. But in Cali, it's not. You 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 got to get money, kind of sometimes, or just be out of the city to mm-hmm. really see the racist. I mean, of course, the police. The police there are ridiculous. But like, I seen them do some shit. But like, just the people that you would think like, cause everybody be so cool and you know mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, that's at the that's in their face. It's almost. It's, I think. I think in Chicago, we just got a different mindset on on racism in itself because. This shit segregated here. You know where you can't really be at. You know how this shit, how the police gonna respond, where you at versus where you live. Like all types of shit. Chicago just bogus as hell. I agree. CPS bogus. Like you can definitely tell, like where the black neighborhoods at versus the white neighborhood. Man, we don't even. Black people live on the south. White people live up north. Them taking our rims is like the most racist shit that. I <laughs> like they got like you go to the hood, ain't no rims, G. Like what? Ain't no. I remember when there wasn't no nets. Like okay, that's cool. Right. But no but rims, the rims. No rims. You can't even do shit. I gotta go hoop on the monkey bars and shit now. <laughs> I gotta hoop like a kid again. I didn't even know they took yeah, the rims. Crazy back up. Most rims are most that rims shit are bogus. gone. That's so bogus. And and, 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 and and Lori left foot or right foot, whatever y'all wanna call her. She knew what she was doing when she did that shit. <laughs> Point so blank crazy. period. I can't stand but. her. But anyway, okay. Last question. Well, a couple more questions before we wrap it up because we're going to wrap this thing up, okay? We got to ask you a question, right? I know, yeah. Okay, so fine, fine, I'm going to give y'all a chance to do that. But I have to ask this, okay? Bringing a woman home for the holidays. Why do y'all bring different women home every year for the holidays? Who, who do that? Me. <laughs> look. <laughs> look. It's, it's, it's Stop a doing that. I do a lot of toxic shit to, oh, yeah, to build like trust and to make her feel more comfortable. 
So like I share my location with bitches. That's that, I feel like that's manipulative though, because you is. know you're doing it intentionally just yeah. for because I'm a fucking bitches reaction, at my house. But he yeah. needs that reaction yeah. for his relationships, maybe though. Nah, yeah, I, I don't. I like it's not genuine. But like, but I do fuck with you like that though. But it's, see, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I, I got a thing where I don't like people meeting my family like right. that. I'm just real personal when That's it comes me. to my family. So it's like my family met one boyfriend. I let people come to parties though. Like if it's a party me and my brother having, oh yeah, you could come. It'd be a hundred some people mm-hmm. there sometimes. So you don't you blend right yeah, in. You come in, nobody will know who you are to me. You might yeah. be able to stay tonight, but. Like, I'm not inviting you to my auntie's birthday party, you know, but I might you, invite you. Like, it's just little shit. Yeah. Like, Easter, Christmas. I got to fuck with you to come to this mm-hmm. type of shit with my mm-hmm. family because it's like, I know me. I know if I if I don't like you like that, it could be another girl next year. And I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear them ask me questions. Like, exactly. What happened to, what happened to blah, blah, uh, blah. And my daddy, my know my daddy real, he real uh, confused names type of guy. I don't have time to, yeah. for him to remember... Another chick name and call her yeah, wrong. Get your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't really, oh. yeah. My mom do fuck up the names, but I don't really be minding. But I don't care. I just you just live your like, life. Just Whatever's this. happening is like, happening. It's cool. And my family know what's up. They know it's yeah, probably it's gonna a, be it's something. A, it's different. definitely something you got to work out with your. Family. I ain't bringing none of these niggas home because I don't even know these niggas' name. But anyway, last question before y'all ask my question that y'all got for me. Why don't y'all be helping out in the kitchen? Like, what's up with that? What you mean helping out? We just let people do what they're good at. Cook. Why don't you help that out? That sounded in the so yard? <laughs> like, sexist. Why you don't help out in the yard? That sounded so, so sexist. Yeah. You, I mean, you, it's fine. You Y'all don't know how to cook? Yeah, I mean, yeah. we do. I told you, I cook. I cook yeah. all the time. Okay. I cook more than my girl, but that's Y'all just know how to cook grass? Okay, ask y'all a question. Like, Wait, <laughs> nah, I want to. I just want I never know. cut grass a day in my life. I, I okay. mean, shit, I get it. Like, I just. Niggas don't cook. You think niggas don't cook? I feel like more niggas cook than women these days. A lot of men do hey, cook, a lot though. Of niggas I'm not going to lie. A lot of men do cook. Facts. And be cooking good. Be cooking better. I ain't going to go down. I do. I hey, mean, that, that one, look at that the one, chefs, it's the that one girl on Twitter. I don't, I don't, uh, mama something, she cooks. Oh, yeah, I've seen her. Maybe mama karma uh-huh, or something. Uh-huh. She cook. Nah, she cook, I'll eat her food in a heartbeat. Yes, yeah, her food like, is good. It's like, I be seeing niggas, but then he ain't got that Darius Cooks nigga. He's not good. <laughs> he be doing some bullshit, bro. That's some, hey, shout that's out to Darius Cooks. Yeah, shout out to Darius, 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 Darius Cooks, though. He's some some <laughs> Instagram chef. Some of his shit be looking good, but he be doing some bullshit sometimes, man. He know he do. That sounds like a regular nigga name, though. Not even Darius Cooks. Like Darius Cooks. Cook. Like Darius <laughs> Cooks. He played football at uh, Facts. Penn State. Facts. Y'all you ready that. for your question? Yeah. I'm, I'm ready for my question because we're going to wrap this for up. You. I'm going to put my phone out for you. Thank y'all for coming. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Terry, you can ask her your question first. My question is, do you put condoms on for niggas or do you just lay there until they, until they get it on? Put it on for them? Yeah. I'm not putting a condom on for no nigga. You're not going to help him? Okay. I feel like niggas... It's in the dark. I'm... He got it inside out. It's not unraveling. He's like, what's wrong with this like... shit? Turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Turn that shit around. Oh, oh okay. I got it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so done with this conversation. It's just something about that, that, like... that, that, that build the sexual tension. You like that? Sexy. Is that something that you like? Is that yeah. eternal? And I don't when really we put like the condom on condoms, for y'all? but if I do, like... That, that'll put the condom on. Plus. That'll be an incentive to wear a condom, yes. Now, this is cool. I got a question. I don't put too. the condom on because I barely Next. wear condoms. You should think about but it. But I don't, I barely have sex, but mm. but I don't put the condom on. Mm. No, it's I not don't. your job. Huh? It's not. But it's I really feel like grown ass men should know how and make sure y'all pull a little tip. You know, when you get the little air hole. Pull that little motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my question is, is, is a little more, it's about. I, it's a question towards black women okay. that I have been wondering and I still don't know the answer. Okay. I ask black women this a lot, but I haven't asked many. Okay. Why are black women the only women who really want to be without a nigga and be independent? They're the only women in the in, that I can think of at all of all races. Of all women. I'm talking about black Af- American women, though. Black American women. Black women. They the black. I think that's a great question. I honestly do because, uh, but you already know what that stems back to. Well, I know what it stems back to, but most people will try to argue with me about it, and I don't have time for that. Like, and I do think women. But I do think shit, black women but... have lost 
the cause because I mean love is something that we definitely need and the family foundation is something that we need. But I do think like we get we get lost in the sauce like with social media and like these it's relationship bogus. goes and like what you should accept from a man. Like I think these women are just lost. But you already know that stems from like white supremacy and mm-hmm. the black kicking the black man out of the home mm-hmm. and black women having to be independent by themselves. But I do think like Thanks. a lot of black women do think like that and it's fucked up. But I just don't know why. Like I, I know why. It's fucked up. But I just, it'd be like, people be so smart these days. But at the same time, they be at home shit. lonely. So. Oh, yeah. I could tell that by the tweets I read. But I just mean, like, all this fake woke shit, all this fake we deep shit, but don't nobody really attack that shit. Like, to me, I be feeling like, like, it, go, it all draws together, like, even with the, how I feel like we be getting disrespected mm-hmm. with no remorse. It's nothing that, that it, it don't matter when you disrespect a black man. At all. But it don't. Let's play the world's smallest violin for these niggas on the stage, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that plays, that goes hand in hand with the way that y'all feel about y'all selves as far as being independent and proud to not have men. Like, yeah. white women don't do this shit. Even though they love feminism and all this shit, they don't go that far. They just want equal I wages. I do, and, and I'm going like to be honest with you, and I'm going to say this for, for the very first time. And I do think that we are really going too far with the slander against black men. I do think that. You see, this is a great But we're going to edit that the fuck out. We're going to wrap this no, up. No, please. Don't edit that out. Don't <laughs> edit that out. Larry and Terry. I want y'all to both drop y'all social handles, please, for everybody. Uh, you can find me at Larry is Legend. Uh, all one word on Twitter. Larry is Legend 1 on Instagram. Smoked Out Saturdays on YouTube. D-A-Z-E. And everything else is attached to those. Make sure y'all watch his skits. They fucking hilarious. It's funny as fuck. Uh, I'm Terry Roseland. It's just straight out Terry Roseland on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse, everything. Make sure y'all fuck with FC Network, too. They providing all the content. And y'all already know who the fuck I am. Diamonds Dosage on Instagram and the Dosage brand on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast on Apple, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And subscribe on YouTube on What's the Word.